Let's start off with the definition of first ionization energy. First ionization energy of an element is defined as the amount of energy required to remove one mole of electrons from a mole of gaseous atoms to form a mole of 1 plus cations. Let's take a look at the ionization energy graph of period 2 and period 3. As you can see, the shapes of the graph for each period are the same, but there is a sharp drop in the first IE from that of neon in group 0 to that of sodium group 1, such that the graph of IEs for period 3 is lower than that of period 2. This is because despite the increase in positive nuclear charge due to an increase in the number of protons, there is an increase in the number of principal quantum shells and thus an increase in shielding effect. Hence, there is a fall in effective nuclear charge and less energy is required to remove the first electron from the atom. Thus, first ionization energy falls. Now that we've understood the graph of first IEs, what about second IEs? A vital point to note is that second IE, unlike first IE, is defined as the amount of energy required to remove one mole of electrons from a mole of gaseous 1 plus cations to form a mole of 2 plus cations. Previously, we looked at the graph of the first ionization energies. But what about the second ionization energies? As previously mentioned, since the X atom has already lost an electron, the electron is now removed from an X plus cation. Take note of the electronic configurations for each of these X plus ions. They are the same as the electronic configurations for the preceding elements. When an electron is removed from each of the elements, the X plus cations have the same electronic configuration as the element right before them. Hence, for the second IE graph, the lowest point on the graph represents the element in group 2. Thus, given the graph of nth IE, the lowest point of the graph corresponds to the element in group N. Now, let's try a worked example. Let this be the graph of the fourth ionization energies of several unknown elements. What group does element A belong to? You may want to pause here to try the question. Recall, the lowest point in an nth IE graph corresponds to the element in group N. Hence, the lowest point in the fourth IE graph corresponds to the element in group 4. Counting from the lowest point, we can now determine the element A is in group 6.